Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reading to you a book called Brontorina by James Howie, illustrated by Randy Cecil. Brontorina, Brontorina had a dream. I want to dance. But you're a dinosaur, Madame Lucy Brontorina replied. But in my heart, I'm a ballerina. She is too big and she does not have the right shoes. Madame Lucy wondered what to do. She had never had a dinosaur as a student before. Dinosaurs were rather large, and this one certainly did not have the right shoes. But then she felt Carla and Jack tugging at her skirt. Oh, please, they pleaded. Madame Lucy looked at the dinosaur's eyes. What is your name, my dear? Brontorina, Brontorina, Optosaurus. I even sound like a dancer. Don't you agree? Madame Lucy did agree. How could she not? Welcome to Madame Lucy's Dance Academy for girls and boys, she said. Please do not try to squash other dancers. Music Mongolia, she commanded the piano player. As Mongolia began to play, Madame Lucy turned her command to her students. Pli, rivele, abrascu, jetty. What a great, a graceful dancer you are, my dear, Madame Lucy exclaimed. Brontorina blushed. On the outside, I am a dinosaur, but not in my heart, you are a black. A ballerina, Carla and Jack. She still doesn't have the right shoes. In the weeks that followed, Look out! Help! Hey, watch your tail! The piano! Oh, Brontorina, cried Madame Lucy. I am afraid you are too big to be a ballerina. You barely fit in my studio. And you ha and how in the world will a male dancer ever lift it you over his head? I could do it, Jack s shouted. No, my dear, said Madame Lucy with a sigh. You could not. A tear fell from Brontorina's eye. Downcast, she turned to leave. Wait, Carla cried out, called out. Don't go. My mother has been working on a surprise for you all week, Brontorina. She's bringing it today? Whatever are you talking about, Madame Lucy? Just then, Carla's ma mother appeared at the door. You must be Brontorina, she said, holding out the surprise. Ah, I hope these will fit. Well, now she has the right shoes. Brontorina beamed. They fit perfectly, cried. she cried. I am a ballerina, or I would be if I only I weren't so big. Oh, fiddlesticks, said Madame Lucy. Why didn't I see it before? The problem is not that you're too big. The problem is that my studio is too small. And so the whole class went off to look for a studio enough to hold all of Brontorina's talent. Too small? Too small. Still too small. Still too, too small. I have an idea. Moo. Now Madame Lucy's dance caddy had me. Had room for everyone. Madame Lucy's Outdoor Dance Academy for go girls and boys and dinosaurs and cows. I want to dance. Then you must. Then you must, my dear. And it all began with the dream. So I hope you enjoyed this book called Brontorina. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!